The next note, a, a devastating note for owners, just as he seems like he's getting going, a concussion in practice? Come on. DeAndre Swift ruled out. We just cannot have nice things in 2020. As I was saying, you know, 71% of the snaps, a true workhorse, 16 of the 20 carries last week. How does he respond? 150 total yards and a touchdown, uh, five t- catches on all of his targets, 26 fantasy points on the day. I mean, just a beautiful welcome to the RB1 pool, DeAndre Swift. Well, until a practice concussion. So devastating timing, especially given his next matchup was against the Carolina Panthers, the fourth most points allowed to running backs, fourth most touchdowns allowed on the ground. I mean, Adrian Peterson himself said apparently to the coaches when they finally told him you're getting benched for this guy, he was like, why did it take so long? <laughs> and this is AP, a legend, a Hall of Famer, who's more than open to admit how good DeAndre Swift is and how dumb this coaching staff was for taking this long to unleash him. But just devastating that as soon as he gets unleashed, he might just go back into the cage, a concussion in practice. Who knows if the role will just be sitting there uh, opened up for him when he gets back. But we're just worried right now about week 11, right? So what does this mean for Peterson, carry on Johnson? Well, I put, I put Peterson right into my top 28 running backs. Uh, you know, 44% owned, cut in a lot of leagues once, We saw DeAndre Swift emerge, and deservedly so. Why hold on to AP, right, until this type of situation? Uh, He could go crazy. We're going to talk about it in a little bit, but Galladay will be out. This offense is going to be short-strapped, so it could become a very run-heavy game plan. If you know we know anything about Patricia, he wants to win ugly. He could feed Peterson 15, 20 carries against, again, the fourth easiest run defense. Peterson, this might be one of his last games as a true featured back. You know he'll be fired up for the opportunity. You know he's going to run his ass off. He always does. I love him at 4K on DraftKings and and as a top 28 running back in my rankings, certainly flexible uh, at this point. Carry on Johnson, only 10% owned. Also, desperation streamers could be the guy. I do think Peterson gets turned to first, but don't be shocked if it's carry on that ultimately takes over. Certainly has more juice than AP at his age if he can get in a rhythm, if he can get going. I prefer AP if I'm starting one, but carry on Johnson is now my running back 31 for the week. So he certainly could be in play as well. Also, 4K on DraftKings. Both of those guys, again, AP, my preferred one. Both of those guys, though, worth long looks as punt plays if you're trying to squeeze in like Adams and Kamara and maybe even Cook and you just got to go pure value everywhere else. Definitely look at this backfield in DFS. And what is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below.